Hello everyone and welcome to another video looking at RAF bases. The subject of this video is RAF Pocklington. Work started in August 1940 with a design for three grass runways along with hangars, technical buildings and, and administration blocks. During construction the grass runways were changed to concrete. However, late on in the construction it was realised that runway 3 posed a threat to Barnby Moor. So this was abandoned in favour of a fourth runway. The stations at RAF Elvington and RAF Melbourne were originally built as substations of Pocklington, and the three bases were known as 42 Base within Bomber Command. The first squadron to arrive at RAF Pocklington was 405 Squadron Royal Canadian Air Force and they flew Wellington bombers for 84 raids in 11 months. They arrived in 1941. 20 aircraft failed to return at this time. In April 1942 Halifaxes arrived, followed, followed later by 102 Squadron RAF from RAF Topcliffe. Station transfer to Transport Command the day before the end of the war on the 7th of May 1945, operating B-24 Liberator aircraft, and the base closed altogether in 1946. Following closure, the site returned to agricultural use, with the hangars being used as grain stores. In 1971, the runways were leased by the World's Gliding Club who purchased them outright in 1983 and who still use the site today. The former technical area is now an industrial estate and some buildings survive. A monument to the crews who flew from the base is on the Gliding Club land. Well I hope you've enjoyed this short look at RAF Pocklington. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in a future video.